I took that first semester off, obviously, because I was still in the hospital when the next semester had started up. Um, but after that, um, I started back to the local um, IEPUI. Um, I was still living with my parents, um, and I still depended on them for a lot of things to get me different places and to um, take me to my appointments and stuff. So I ended up just doing like an inner campus transfer and I was able to start back up to school that spring semester um, after my accident and just do part time. Um, and it really was just to kind of get my feet wet and kind of see like, okay, I know some of my deficits, but what if I have all these other things that are hidden down in, in there because I'm not, I'm not in that environment. I'm not learning or um, trying to obtain like new information and knowledge. What if I have deficits that I don't even know about? Um, so I wanted to take it slow in the beginning. I didn't think that I was going to get through it. Um, nursing school is difficult in and of itself um, and then put a brain injury on it and <laughs> it's quite impossible. <laughs> um, just the memory issues I have and um, just all that comes with a, a traumatic brain injury, not just with obtaining new knowledge but the chronic migraines and everything that I get. Um, being able to go to class and um, not miss clinicals and things like that. Um, there were some roadblocks along the way, but I tried my personal best to be there all the time. And sometimes I would have a, I'd wake up with a migraine and be vomiting and Jimmy would drive me to the hospital um, wherever I had clinical and I was like, I can do it, like I can get through it. I just can't drive there. Um, will you please just take me? <laughs> and he thought I was crazy, but um, I, wanted, I wanted to get on with my life. I wanted to, you know, be done with the accident and stop letting it define me and move along and um, start accomplishing some of my goals.